Hello there and welcome to this build show off and this is my low life hipster blender uh, poison blender I guess I would say let's just do a map first and I'll show off the build afterwards so not everything about this is fully optimized yet I'm just level 82 it's a max block with the uh, poison include we're using a mings and just being safe we have the the max block over it i expect for later levels of course to get even more es and i would recommend getting up to like at least like 9 10k feel really uh feel really safe and be able to take a few hits in between the blocks Uh, for now, the damage it's uh, it's really nice. You just blend for everything. Now I'm using the singularity, the new unique, and I'm basically using it because when I saw it first time, I saw the effect. You might be able to see it here on the ground. It has like this bluish effect around me. It looks so cool. And I was like, hey, I want to use that. And uh, then I figured, like, oh, the blender. Like it slows everybody up around me. That would be pretty good. So I figured that I would use that. I know that if you use a dagger, you can whirling braids around and you could be faster. Like maybe a little bit faster clear speed. But honestly, I didn't really care that much. I just wanted to look cool. It has this cool factor, at least in my opinion. <laughs> it has a decent damage on it as well. I'm not crit either, so I don't really need the, the dagger for the crit. So we're not going to fully clear this, I'm just going to go through this. You can see the damage output, I'm going to go kill the boss, and then we can go talk a little bit about the build. So, as I said earlier, I'm still like level 82. I have a lot of more levels where I can get more ES and more defense in, in general. And this is also only on a 5 link, so 6 link would would be increased duration or for cursor mu maps switch out the increased duration with the uh, life leech uh, maybe uh, not too bad oh let's take out what Kadira has for us here uh, nothing really So it feels really safe going around. As I also said, I'm using uh, an Aegis. Yeah, I'm using an Aegis. So when I have all the block up and have my roomies up, I actually get quite a lot of ES back on each block. But to be honest, a lot of the time the mobs can't even hit me when they get close, they get perma stunned. So it's mostly for bosses. And we're getting to a bus right now. So let's see how this handles it. Get in here. Get close and personal. We get some extra leech. Hmm. Well, that was easy. Get out of here. Let's take a closer look at the gear. So right now, I'm actually only using three rare items on this belt. My gloves, which has text with which I kind of need for this build a ring for resists and the helmet and that's the only non-unique items right now I'm using the singularity which adds some flat lightning damage to the build doesn't really matter much for me to reduce mana cast is okay it's nothing special it has 60 percent increased damage against hindered enemies so that damage affects both my poison and everything so that's just good for that it's nothing too special though it's just like a 60 percent spell damage though it adds to the poison as well so it's a little bit better than 60 percent spell damage but not by much the flat lightning is all right like the minimum on it is really high so it's actually a pretty decent damage source but again we're not doing crit we're not really uh shocking much here so it's not really doing 
that much. Then we have the Minx Heart. And the Minx Heart is just really nice. It's extra extra chaos damage for us, which is good. And we uh, we get a lot of chaos risk, which is nice. So chaos risk is a non issue for us. Just like minus three or like minus two in the uh, Mercedes. So that's really good. Um, of course, shafts, and right now it's just a, f a five link with blade vortex, control destruction, spell echo, poison, and increased area effect. As I said, if we have a six link, I'll use increased duration, and for uh, uh, person immune maps, I just switch that out with life leech, and that should be fine. Uh, we're using a stone of lasso with a three percent chance to block, using rainbow stride. Ages of Roar. Now, if you think Ages of Roar, you actually need armor for that. But as you see here, I have Determination. Like, without anything up, we have 1300, almost 1400 armor, which is in nothing. But let's press those roomies here. Boom. Almost 13k. So we're getting, we're getting like 250 something ES per block when we have this up. And we have, as you can see down here, almost max block. Like one percent from max spell, uh, but we can easily fix that at a later point. So yeah, rainbow stride, of course. So we have we get our spell block up. I'm using a headhunter now, but that's you can use any build you want, really. Uh, just a good ES build with some assist might make it the rest of the build easier for you. Uh, it's definitely not required for the build at all. It's just I have it, so why not use it? <laughs> kind of thing. The only thing that is nice about it, though, I will say, is the extra decks. Let's see. Invested with blood. Oh, nice. I actually didn't have that. Let's see how much we're missing right now. I don't have it on. Oh, wait. I have some of that items, so I can't see. Uh, I guess this is it. So I need, like, 33 more decks, which would be a little bit annoying. I would get for the street. So that's, like, the only thing that's nice for me. Uh, nothing too special other than that, honestly. <clears throat> of course, you get the extra effect from Ram off, which is not really doing, like, it's not going to be, oh, I need this for this build. It's just a no, nice extra item. Um, let's talk about my hours right now. I'm, of course, using Warlord's Mark. I'm using Determination. At a later point, I actually want to get rid of Clarity. And then instead on live, get Arctic Armor. Uh, I have m done the math and I just need this and these for that. And I will be able to have it on. It will be like a nice extra defense where you can just stand still, face tank. Like, I was thinking about totally getting rid of Basalt at that point. Because I have Arctic Armor. Get rid of the basal because then it will still like if I take the hit, I will still have some kind of mitigation. But having two roomies will make sure that I almost permanently through maps can keep it up, especially on bosses. Because if you can keep this on up, like if you keep my roomies up on a boss fight, other than like clear one shots, there's nothing that's gonna touch you. Like right now, I'm using wall haste, but of course, at the higher maps, you would use wall discipline. So we have like a really high. Cool. So most of the boss fights, you can just stand still, do your damage, and don't have to worry about anything. So I think for end game that would be a good idea. I'm using a a silver flask, of course, and a quick silver, since I cannot whirling blades around. And the silver flask is really good, just for making sure you can get some extra fast uh, vortexes out. Now, because I don't have any resistance to build, I really need to go this way. In an optimal world, I would much rather go on the block way here and get some extra armor from the shield as well. It's just it's not much, but it's always nice to have. And the two extra nodes will just make sure I'm like, completely capped. Now, over here, I have the shield duration, or the, sorry, the curse duration, and the profane bloom. The profane bloom is really nice, though there is an issue right now where you apparently don't get loot for stuff that gets blown up by profane bloom. But I expect that to be fixed here in the coming days. Uh, Wicked Ward, of course, and Vile Bastion. That actually, on some bosses, if you kill like the mobs around it, it's like impossible. You just see your life go up so fast, even like no matter what the damage is. 
for example, the bus in uh, what was the bus again? In the indoor map, let's see here what the name was. Completely blanking now. Yeah, torture chamber. She couldn't pit, like she couldn't lower my life at all. Like, even though the laser goes, you don't block the laser. It just goes like a laser degen, and she couldn't degen me. Like <laughs> had so much regen just because I killed like ten mobs around her. So uh, that's pretty fun. So at, at least when you kill stuff, I tried with a worm flash, but that serious promise is much better since you can go in on a boss. Pop that Siri flask and pop the roomies. I mean, if you get hit, your life gets up really fast, anyways. Because it's like you have four four percent region almost, or like leech. Of course, it will be lower than bosses, but still, it's better than just having uh, having two percent leech for sure. Uh, so that's more or less my build. As I said, this one is not required. This is my fashion factor, my hipster fashion. <laughs> It's just look look at it look at the effect here. Let me remove the rest of this. Like this looks so cool, and the weapon itself also looks amazing. It's just a really amazing looking looking uh, weapon. So yeah, you can switch that out with a dagger. I used the whirling blades. Whirling blades kind of OP, but I'm still like blinking around pretty fast with flame dash. So. If you're optimal with that, you know you're not gonna feel much of a difference though. But it is an alternative to instead of this for sure. Either way, guys, I hope you uh, you like this build. Hope you think it's fun. I will put uh, put the link up for this build in my guide section. Uh, and yeah, have fun if you try it out. Either way, have a great day. Angry Reese out. Bye.